says 2020 will be the year of the teacher in Florida. Governor Ron DeSantis laid out his more than $91 billion state budget for next year. The budget includes raises for public school teachers. New 6's Nadine Yanis joins us now live from the Orange County Teachers Union with reaction from teachers today. So Nadine, first, the governor hopes this will entice new teachers to move to Florida. Yeah, and he says they're already getting calls at the state level of teachers inquiring about this. So the governor says right now Florida is ranked 46th in the nation when it comes to teacher salaries. Making this bold proposal is what he's calling it. To have a minimum salary of $47,500 will bring Florida to number two in the nation. He says it's going to help with re recruiting teachers, but the teachers union says not so fast. It's not going to help with keeping teachers already here. Everybody in Florida will be at a minimum of 47.5. Governor Ron DeSantis says it's a bold and meaningful investment in Florida's education, raising the minimum teacher salary in the state to $47,500. Commissioner Corcoran said he's already getting, you know, a call of people from other states. Are you really, are you guys really going to do that? We will we'll move to Florida if you're going to do that. So I think it's going to really make an impact. The investment, he says, will affect 101,000 teachers in the state of Florida giving them $603 million in raises. He says will help in recruiting new teachers. And we're doing all this great stuff with our state universities. I'd like to expand the pool of college graduates who, who, who would consider teaching. I think this is one way that you can do it. However, Wendy Dormal, the president of the Orange County Classroom Teachers Association, says it won't help all teachers. In fact, it could push some veteran teachers who have worked eight years to get to 47,000 leave. Even if they all come up to 47.5, would you want to be a, a teacher who taught for seven years and you're making the same as a teacher who's coming from college? Right, no. So that is the question people are asking. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. So um, if you're going to retain teachers, you have to raise everyone and you have to do it in a fair way. Now, also a part of the governor's proposal when it comes to investing in Florida's education, he wants to add $300 million in a new teacher bonus program. Now, this is something that was very controversial here in Orange County. In fact, the teachers rejected for the first time ever a plan that included teacher bonuses. Why teachers don't like bonuses and like pay raises better. We're going to hear about that in my story coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. Until then, we're live from Orange County. I'm Nadine Giannis, getting results, News 6. Nadine, thank you.